Hello guys and gals, and welcome to one of How to Smartphones tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be showing us how to transfer content or transfer data, your contacts, photos, everything like that from one phone to the other. And it doesn't matter if it's an Android or iOS device, it works in between both the types of devices. So I'm going to be going from the Samsung Galaxy S8, transferring all the data from here onto the Google Pixel 2. So to start off with, you will need to download an app and it is called the content transfer. It's right there. And I'll show you guys what it looks like on in the uh, Play Store. So this is it right here, contact transfer. It's a, a app made by Verizon. So you can go, go ahead and install it. And then once you uh, install it, you're gonna have to accept, give access to your device. So once you do that, you will then be given this screen here. And then from this screen here, we're gonna go ahead and select start transfer. And then it's asking you, so which device is this? So this is my old phone. And then this is my new phone. So you go ahead and select those. And then we are gonna go ahead and hit next. And it says uh, your Wi-Fi disconnect uh, while your phone, don't worry, this is expected. Uh, let's go ahead, hit I understand. And then select your, uh, the combination. So this device is an Android device. Um, so Android, Android. Going to go ahead and select that. If you're going Android to iPhone or iPhone to Android, you would then select that. Since these are both Android, I'm going to go ahead and, and select Android to Android. And it's going to give you a little another content, a um, little message. Go ahead and select OK. And then it says use content transfer instead of message as your SMS app. Oh, you want to do that? Yes or no? I'm just going to go ahead and hit yes and hit OK here. And at this point, this camera should turn on. And just like that, you slide over the other device with the code. And just like that, it reads it. And it says be on the lookout saying, hey, from the Samsung phone, you're getting some content. I'm going to go ahead and select accept. And then here we are, we're just connecting. It's, it's linking the two. And I believe you do have to have Bluetooth on in order for this to work. I have Bluetooth on on both of my um, both of my devices here So now it's asking me what I am transferring. I'm gonna be transferring my contacts my photos Videos any kind of audio. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Um, I do have calendars. I got nothing there. You can uh, transfer your messages you can um, Call logs any kind of other documents anything like that uh, Your apps if you haven't you can go ahead and transfer all of that um, so For now, this is all that I really need um I can also, you know, once the messages load up, if you want to do messages, you can do that. Um, any kind of documents, anything else, apps. Most of the apps that I have on here, I've already put on over there, are, are already uploaded. So that's not that big of a deal. So then at this point, once you have selected what you want to transfer, you can then hit transfer and it'll start to transfer all of your content. And this is the second screen, it's just finishing up. Now it's finishing through its last bit. But as you guys can see, there is a timer. Oh, it's got a clock and showing about seven seconds left. I started with about 15 minutes. Um, then it's got the information of, of what how much information has been transferred and the speed at uh, which it is transferring. It was starting at about 80, 85 possibly megabits per second. And now we're down to about 56. And then for the receiving messages, just a load bar to show you how far you've gone. First it started with uh, videos and then it went to photos and now it's receiving messages. So it's kind of going through there. And then as far as the timer, the whole process, this uh, just for this transfer screen took about 15 to 20 minutes. So I think the whole process, I would say, takes about a good 25 to 30 minutes, depending on what content you're transferring. If you're looking for a shorter time, uh, maybe not transfer as much information like I did, maybe leave out the messages or uh, kind of comb through your information before you start the transfer process, delete any unwanted or unneeded photos, videos, that sort of thing to kind of uh, help declutter what you already have. Or you could also transfer all your photos and videos to a SD memory card and transfer it from one device to the other and just leave that SD memory card in there, um, kind of help reduce with some of that speed there as well. And then now it's just going through the, um, it's just saving. There's, it says saving is in process. Keep the app open while finish uh, saving your content. So now it's just saving them to the devices, transfer them over there. Now it's, I just believe it's putting them, dispersing them in the right place where they need to be. So as far as contacts, we've got those set. Messages are on their way and I believe it'll still show the videos and the photos. 
So it looks like our content just transferred. Um, your preferred messaging app may not be current default app for the messages. Please open preferred, okay. Um, you, you can go ahead and rate their things. Just gonna, I'm gonna select no thanks. So now at this point, congratulations, you're done. The information has been transferred. So with your old device, you are now done. You can go ahead, put that away. So there you guys have it. That was the video. I did check all of the contacts, videos, uh, messages, photos, all the, all the stuff that I transferred did transfer over. The one thing that I did notice is that my phone did get a little bit warm uh, just from transferring all that information, getting everything on here. It did warm up, but uh, it should cool down and it should be fine after that. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. That is how I transfer my content from any device from Android to Android, Android to iPhone, iPhone to Android. It works. I've done it on all of them. So if you guys are looking to transfer it, go ahead, check that out. Free app, nothing to pay, nothing to lose. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you guys found this helpful, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. If you know somebody who is looking for this information, go ahead and share this with them. Let them know there is this possibility. So that's all I got for you guys in this one. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.